right, we're back with video number nine of our Getting Started with Pro Tools Basic Series video. Now, today we're going to take that kind of globally and we're going to edit everything simultaneously to show you how to really quickly change the form or arrangement of your songs. So here we go. Let's dig in. Thanks. So if I want to duplicate all this, right, doing it one at a time is pretty time consuming. So let's talk about how we can utilize groups. So the most obvious group is the all group and the all group means all of it. So if I select one region, it's going to select all the regions because we're in an all group, which means everything. I can do a shift click up here and then I can get the markers too, which is awesome because the form is going to be the same if I hit repeat. So we want the markers to be the same. I think we need a little break. So let's add in another bar by clicking over here. Now I'm going to do repeat and we have a bar space because we're going to make a break. Option R, repeat one time. Everybody repeated, including the markers. So you might say, well, that's great and all, but uh, this doesn't, they look the same, I'm confused. If they're the same and you're confused, you can see they're sorted by order. But if you're still confused, what I would do is, I would just click on the name, double click, and it'll come up. And then all you have to do is change what you like to change. So you could do that, right, to all of them. Another thing you can do is you can hit control click and the pencil will come up and they will come up and you can change them there. Because this way is a little difficult to just catch them just right. It takes a while. All right, so we renamed all our markers. So let's drop a new marker in here and we'll call this BD for breakdown, right? And we have that. So how are we gonna make a breakdown? we are going to reuse some of the guitar stuff we had. So we're going to get out of the all group, right? Because we can see that that's going to make us go. And we're in loop play. We don't want to be, so that is shift command L. Let's get rid of that. We're going to grab this guitar bit right so let's say i want to grab that but see how i did a little extra at the front so i make sure i got some of the, the grace notes on the guitar we want that so oh, this is a drag if you have to do this right and then copy it and then put it here then you have to peel back that little bit that's a lot of work so if you click on grid twice you get what's called relative grid so now our grid is set to a measure so if i hold option move these over i'm in relative grid mode and what happened? It moved, right? So before we do that, let's let's go back here and let's make a new one. We'll put an F for form edit, right? Or FE. So we know we edited the form, so we're not, in case we mess something up. Option drag that there, and let's see. So now we got this part happening. So let's say we want the kick to do something. Let's say we repeat that, All right? And let's go into some MIDI editing for some fun. We have it on one and three, right? So let's go take these and let's put them on quarter notes. So we should have four on the floor. Cool, so we did that on that one. So let's go back. Now if you, you notice how I got in and out of that window without touching anything? Um, if you do command and you do the tilde, which is the little squiggly sign above, below, I'm sorry, the escape key, you'll, you can move around in there too. So let's do some more editing to the snare. So right in this measure, we need to, we need to catch some of those dynamics now that we have them, right? So we have bop, 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 bop. 
dot, 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 dot. So let's do quarter notes and let's do it up to beat three. So now we have it. So let's move the one on four to three and let's move the one on one. So we have one, two, three on the snare. And we don't need the hi-hat on beat four. So now we have one, two, three quarter notes on the drums. So thanks again for watching these Pro Tools Tips videos. We do appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more like this coming. Feel free to send us any messages or comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any ideas or if I missed anything or if you have any key commands, shortcuts that I don't know about, I'd love to learn from you. Thanks again. Whoa.